Hello again YouTube, Larry here, and tonight we'll be checking out an Dull feature. Except that's gonna be more part two, if anything, yeah. So this is gonna be a, a, um, a two-parter, you know, hence dull feature. So anyways, we'll just put this off for sign now. Before we do so, we're gonna see which pre-release pack has more value, Innistrad Midnight Hunt or Crimson Vow. Something I've always noticed um, with the uh, Crimson Vow one is why they didn't have the uh, Wizards uh, security tape or whatever on that. Anyways, I'm, I've had these solve them for quite some time now, so let's just get into it. You know, so we're gonna check out Midnight Hunt first. Okay. It's ironic that you know it's like um you know I've had the uh, um full feature box for like over a week now, and I'm planning off opening it even more. So okay. All right. So there's the pre-release kit. Crack you open. Alright, so we get a white die with the uh where's the wolf symbol? There we go. Set symbol. Got our packs here. So that's the side for now. Okay, we've got our own pre release solemn pamphlet. So Vanquish the Horde, that's our uh, promo. And the divider. So six packs. Let's see if these all um, have their um Actually, hold on, there's, there's other um, cards in here. Let's, let's open this first here. Three of these cards. I forgot how many cards you actually get with this, so. The one promo and I can't remember what the other ones are. I think they're just day and night token things or whatever. So yeah, oh yeah, that's curled. I mean, I've had this for too long now. So Vanquish the Horde, so yeah, day. And of course you got the, uh, oh yeah, these are the uh, blank cards where you can use for like, uh, Proxy, so if you have like a transform card, then yeah, you can use that instead. Yeah, that, that's really curled. I should have really had this open sooner or whatever, you know. But whatever, we're just getting to it now. Okay, so six packs. I mean, I had, let's crack them open. I believe the most um, valued card right now for Minute, I mean, Minute Hunt, yeah, would be the uh, Meat Hut Mask I think it's still like with arms 60 bucks for. Kind of interesting if we pull that in this pack. I think we'll just look at the uh, uncommons and the rares. We'll, I mean, because everyone knows what we're getting in on, like, um, you know, you know, for like cons and stuff by now. Um, yeah, cons aren't all that important, so yeah. Six. All right, yeah. All right, so for I mean, first set of uncommons is um, Ominous Ro I'm Roost. My camera is going off focus. Focus camera. There you go. Ominous Roost, Winterthorn Blessing, Breed Survivor, a rare, oh, Mythic, is Moonveal Regent, which is not bad. You know, it's pretty awesome. You know, it's a 4-4 four, four dragon flying. And whenever you cast a spell, you may discard your hand. If you do draw a card, Reach that spells colors. I think that's supposed to be tying in with Coven, maybe. I don't know. Um, or Coven, or whatever this is from uh, um, Crimson Vow. When move wheel region dies, it deals X damage to any target. Or X is never colors among permanents you control. So, yeah, definitely want to put this in like a five color deck, you know, to deal max damage. And we've got a black and white island, and yeah, decay zombie focus. These ones absolutely suck, in my opinion. I, I I don't know what the reason why was behind all um, the K zombies. I mean, like, obviously, you know, when they block, they die. Or, no, they can't block. You know, they're just one hit zombies, however. All right, so that's our first pack. Okay, I'm on a meat hook there. Sure. Actually, that's our, one of our mythics. So I think you only get maybe one mythic or so out in pre release packs, or whatever, maybe at most. I don't know. Okay, but anyways, you know, there's always a chance. If anyone did catch that um, um code or whatever, you know, when I opened it, then um, then yeah, I guess you could try redeem I'm redeeming or something like that. I don't really play in arena that much anymore. I mean, like, there's lots of different decks and stuff that like I hate. You know, one of them has been like um, mono colorless and stuff. Anyways, let's keep going here. So let's forget the comments right away because I still have another pack to open there. Um, there we go. So ghoulish procession. Rise of the Ants, so yeah, oh no, Ants! Mysterious Tome, um, which transforms into Chilling Chronicle. 
this, a Forgotten Archangel. I mean, yeah, I mean, she wasn't featured in any of the other Innistrad sets, unfortunately. Yeah, I think she's also a good-looking Chimera, too, by the way. You know, two double white black, you know. Yeah. Um, Forest, tapping at the window. Spire token, and, of course, Transform token. Okay, next pack. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm clearing my throat quite a bit. Um, I just recently got over COVID. Yeah. Which I found out I had around the 31st of January and stuff like that. They might have caught it at FM. I don't know. Alright, third pack. Alright. So we have Audrex Outrider. Which is good. I like all night trial, by the way. Um. I have a plus iron creature you control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on your creature control. Really good if you're trying to make like a nice deck and just try and ramp it up. Sacred Fire. Alan the Liberator. Transforms into Frenzied Trap Breaker. And Light Up the Night. I think I remember this song um, when this was first spoiled, I think. Um I think this also like in Smash or some 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 sort of language I couldn't understand. But yeah. Mountain. Shipwreck Sifters. That's not, that's not bad. And a bird token. You can only block creatures flying. So yeah, it's, and there's a lot of um of weird synergies. Like, you know, you got the zombie um token that's got decay, so it can only attack. And this can only block creatures flying. Like, um there's also a bunch of other different cards in the game that, you know, where you know they can only block creatures flying, stuff like that. Alright. So yeah, Wolves vs. Vampires, which one has a better value? So, do you cover up? Let's just get to the good stuff. Phantom Carriage, Holdren Ambusher, Testing Naturalist, you get a Transform card in each pack, which is pretty cool. Oh, I see something good. And then Lord of the um, Uvenwald, and a full art, art Tom Teferi who slows the sunset. That's actually pretty good. I, I said, okay, originally, I thought you only got like one mythic, but that's a pretty good one. You know, so second mythic, that's pretty good. All right, this is starting to show a lot of value. So, oh, I just bumped my camera. Queens, Mystic Skull. I was actually hoping for this in my previous pack that I bought originally. Yeah, and it's in, in foil too. Okay, you definitely got to um, capture that one, yeah. Uh, Tree Folk and Transform card. Yeah, I'm gonna put these all in sleeves after I'm done recording. So yeah. Another high value card I think in the set is um Ren Seven. Alright, the pack. <clears throat> Alright, so Moon Silver Key, which I think that's supposed to be a major part, a major story part. Um, Storm Skillrix, Contortionist Troop, Suspicious Stowaway, that's our rare and also transform card, which transforms into Seafaring Werewolf. I imagine werewolves would be kind of sick on the seas, you know, that they get motion sickness easily. Swamp, Zombie, and there. All right, last pack, guys. Let's see if we get anything on better than Teferi, which I don't think we will. <coughs> All right. Oh yeah, all skipped over the good stuff. All right, so we've got Strong Kirk, Blood Thief, Vampire Socialite, which is kind of weird, you know, that, you know, um, vampires in a werewolf set, but at the same time, you know, it's like, you know, um, you know, we got to mix it up a little bit, you know. 
I think I don't know if there's any. Um, I think there's werewolves in the uh, in the vampire set too. Hangblade Brigand transforms into Hangblade Eviscerator, and then a rare myth. Uh, it's actually just a rare Badric Astral Archmage, and it's, it's one of the black and white cards too. That's pretty cool. If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as Alm Vedric, Alm Astral Archmage enters the battlefield. Instant sorcery spells you cast cost X less to cast, where X is Vedric's power. When Alm day becomes night or night becomes day, put plus one plus one counter on Vedric. So yeah, it starts out at one, but if you were to say make like a Voltron deck somehow out of this, which let's face it, it's more Storm if anything. But anyways, Alm, if you're to Alm, you know, just really power him up, you could probably give him. If you say, you know, put on a Colossus Hammer, your spells could cost easily up to 11 less to cast. Island Stronghold, I mean, Strong Gold Sentinel. And yeah, it's a little bit curl too. But of course, you know, this pack's been unopened for quite some time now. So yeah, um, whenever Strong Gold Sentinel enters the battlefield or attacks, exile up to one target card from a graveyard. So graveyard removal, that's good because you know graveyard mares and in Innistrad sets usually. Coven, you choose a color, sun gold, so no, he's hexproof from that color until end of turn and can't be blocked by creatures on and of that color on this turn. Activate only if you control three or more creatures with different powers. Uh, spirit and the other transfer card. Okay, so now we get into the Crimson Vow pack. Already looks like the uh, um, Midnight Hunt is winning by quite a bit. You only know, open two Mythics, heck. Um, but the only thing I can think of that would make um, the uh, Crimson Vow pack worth it is if, say, we got like um, Olivia Crimson Rider. What else is. I'm trying to remember what. Um, Soren, maybe? Okay, so yeah, we've got the, uh, the Blood Red Die um, with the um, Vampire set symbol on it. I just bumped my camera again. Hilarious. Okay, so here's the uh, pamphlet or our pre-release um, promo foil is some um, a death clap and kept glade, which is not that impressive in my opinion. I mean, land, sure, but yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna use my scissors for this part. So again, yeah, you're getting the same kind of content, so yeah, you get the foiled promo, day night card, and of course a few uh, proxies you can um, write your names on, and as far as like, you know, um, cre I mean, you know, transforming creatures. And then of course you get another arena code, which I'm not going to show this one. Because let's face it, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe using them later. Divider. Now yeah, the good stuff, the packs. All right, so we'll start at the top one, honestly. Again, I'm just gonna skip the uh, cons and go right for the uncommons. This video is already like 13 minutes long, 13 and a half minutes actually. All right. All right, so first uncommon is Blood Tithe Harvester, Magma Pummeler. And Grace. Looks like we got foil. Uh, Dominating Vampire. Uh, right, I'm Black and White Mountain. Dream Shackle Geist. That's not bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, at the beginning of your combat on uh, combat on your turn, choose up to one target and tap target creature. Tap target and target creature doesn't tap during its controller's next untap step. And then of course, some um, an advertised for Karina and a proxy card. Next pack. Um, one of my least favorite um, keywords in the set is the one where I mean, essentially uh, you can um, pay an additional cost to remove um, words and brackets. It's just like, you know, who would do that? You know, you just take a sharp you know, all and just you know, cross that out after you cast it over. You know, that's how you cheat a free release. Okay. Yeah, so not even showing in the comments. All right, so we've got another Magma Pummeler. Hero's Downfall. 
It's kind of nice to refer to that. Ollenbach Escort. Wing announcement, which of course transforms into Wing Festivity. So that's a good anthem, you know, for essentially three mana, yeah, three mana, which is extremely flexible. Then you get an anthem that trans and that um gives your creatures plus one plus one. It's like a um what's the original anthem called? Clarice Anthem? I think that's something I don't know. Mountain and uh, red human creature token and another almond transfer card. Yep, so far it looks like the uh, Midnight Hunt one is a lot more valuable than the uh, Crimson Vale. Let's look for like Sora and stuff like that. Um, but hopefully I can pull the uh, um, Ayumi Kojima artwork. I mean, that's, that's my favorite, you know, because Kojima did also love the artwork for Cal and the Castlevania series. All right. Yeah, that last pack I didn't show all the commons anyways. I thought, uh, yeah, that'll make it a little bit faster. All right. So we got Screaming Swarm, Treve, Luring Suitor. He's like, come and dance with me. We can dance with him too. We can leave your friends. I got stuff on the table that, you know, I found hats. Um, you know, when you attack with exactly two, I mean, two creatures, a transforming sewer. I just thought of something, you know, so basically, um, you know, that's kind of like the reverse of mess, if anything, where you need like two creatures to block um, one creature. Yeah, that's the complete opposite. So, yeah. All right, so transform you over. Deadly Dancer. I'm going to text read, just not going to read it. But yeah, you get like two red mana and stuff like that. That's pretty good. Draw Visionary Stitcher. That's a rare zombies control of flying. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I and mean, considering the fact you know there are cards in the original Innistrad set like Calm Sis Drake and stuff, you know. Yeah, um, sacrifice no no creature and token creatures. This is actually would be a really good commander to have in you know, mono blue for sure. Considering the fact that the original commander twenty fourteen deck had Jorolf as one of the commanders you could play as. Um, sacrifice another non token creature. Create an XX. Blue zombie creature token where X is a sacrifice cre and creature toughness. So yeah, that's a really good copy token. Then, so you sacrifice another and uh, a really big blue zombie creature and create a token out of it. Nice uh, swamp insect token. Yeah, so we're not really getting all that many powerful pulls like the other. I mean, I had one on you. Know, I had really valuable stuff in there. Of course, this could, it could just be a coincidence. All right, fourth pack. <clears throat> All right, Screaming Swarm, Retrieve. I think that's the second Retrieve of Hold. Blood Swarm and Scar, I mean Squire, um, which transforms it into Blood Swarm Knight. Shared Sanctum. I think I might pull this one on um, like in one of my other packs, you know, and I didn't do on camera. That's pretty good, you know. Full art. Forest, Human Soldier, Token, and Proxy Token. Yeah, I don't think we've seen a single Mythic yet. Definitely, um, Olivia would be nice. Paul Edgar, you know, he's also pretty cool. All right, almost 20 minutes in. Okay, here we go. Skulking Killer, Paul Spawn Inspire, Gyre Skulker. This transforms into a Gyre Shortcut. And another Shared Sanctum, this time it's just a rare art. Swamp and Evolving Wilds full. This is pretty good. I don't like all the fact that, you know, starting with Strixhaven, and they just all turn into two, um, then shuffle and stuff like that. I've pointed out different times in other videos and stuff like that, but it's just like, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, because they're trying to get like less text on the cards and stuff like that, but I just don't care for it. Denied token, and of course, we get our transformed. Okay. 
All right, hopefully there's something good in this last pack. You know, it'd be nice to end it on a good, and end the video on a good note. So far, you know, Crimson Veil vale just absolutely sucks. I mean, yeah, heck, they have to do that, but still, it's just the pack value. All right. Okay, and here we go. We start again on a Skulking Killer, Sanguine Statuette. We'll take Visionary, which transforms into Full Charge Berserker, and our rare is Dying to Surf. That's disappointing. Oh well. Island, Blood Token, and yeah. Well, that was a bummer. Oh well, anyways, hopefully, um, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna clean up this area. And then we're gonna get into this. So yeah, hang around for part two guys, and I'll see you later.